Now, tomorrow, it's going to be five years since Madeleine McCann went missing, and this morning I'm joined by her parents, Kate and Jerry. I'm going to be talking to them both in just a minute, but first this. This is the final photo of Madeleine. Seven hours later, she disappeared from her family's holiday apartment in Portugal, while her parents and their friends dined at a restaurant nearby. The McCanns began a desperate search for Madeleine, with appeals across Europe and a visit to the Pope in Rome. Three months later, they were faced with yet more turmoil when they were named as Arguidos, official suspects. There had been dozens of sightings of Madeleine, but a year after her disappearance, the Portuguese inquiry was officially shelved. The McCanns were eventually cleared of any involvement in July 2008. Employing private investigators and raising money through charity events, their search for Madeleine continued. Last year, they appealed directly to David Cameron. Within 24 hours, he announced funding for a police investigative review team. They have identified 195 new leads and last week released this image of how Madeleine might look today. Detectives believe there's real hope that Madeleine can still be found alive. Well, Kate and Jenny McCann join me now. You see that new photograph, there's a new investigation. New hope? Absolutely. I think we're probably as positive as we have been in a long time. Mm, I can completely understand that. I know we all keep saying this, but it just doesn't feel like five years. Yeah, in some ways it's been the, the longest of five course. years and the quickest five years yeah. of our life. And uh, Certainly, I don't think we could have imagined five years ago that we'd be able no. to pass so quickly. No, exactly. And the thing about it is, though, she is frozen in time for, for us, for the rest of us. You know, we, we do see those photographs of her as, as a little one, which is why it's so, so important to get that new image out there. And how, how do you feel about the new, the new image? Do, do you think that's fair? Do you think it's, it would, that's what she would be like? I do, to be honest. And although, I mean, I, I work with the artist a little bit, and um, although we did several drafts, it's very similar to actually the very first draft so when it came through you know I really thought wow mm, yeah. I feel it's quite good and I can see you know I, I can see us all in it you know yeah. you've had different people say I can see Jerry and I can see you in it mm. Sean Emily so I think we're we're definitely there with something that has a at least a strong family resemblance yeah. and it is as we say it's so important to get that out there to, to realize you know that she would soon, soon be nine you know she's not that little mm. girl anymore that that's the Absolutely. thing isn't yeah. it and we'd be really keen I mean the general public helped us with the last stage progression so we'd be really yeah. keen for them really grateful if they could circulate that image as far and wide as that's they can. so so important you know, to get it both here and and, 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 and everybody else, you know, whether it's in Portugal or Spain or, or further afield, you know, it's really important to get that out there. You did make that direct appeal to the, the Prime Minister and he did respond and the investigation is, is going on with an incredible amount of information to, to sift through. But the, the police have said, the detectives have said that she might still be alive. Well, we've always believed that, you know, and we're realistic. We, we don't mm -hmm. know what's happened, but we know there's a very good chance that she could be alive. There's no evidence t uh, to the contrary, mm. and we know, you know, year after year, missing children, children that have been abducted, uh, you yeah. know, are found alive. Oh, so we've seen those cases, haven't yeah. been? And funny enough, every time I see one of those cases, I always think of you, because <laughs> I, I always think, well, that must give you hope. I mean, sometimes it's horrendous circumstances, but still, you know, the child is found, Absolutely. and it, it must make you feel well, there is I think hope the, 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 particularly the cases with the younger children, it's yeah. often not horrendous circumstances. Indeed. So a lot of the kids who are taken as babies or toddlers. Uh, have been just brought up as mm. normal children. Obviously, with the older children, uh, it's, it's been a bit mm. more unpleasant. But, you know, they are incredibly adaptable and cope well. And interestingly, Ernie Allen, who's the chief exec of the um, National uh, Centre in yeah. Washington, uh, notified of, of another case in America last year, and it was actually a man who recognised himself from an age progression image. Extraordinary. And that case had been closed as a probable homicide mm. about 30 years before. So and that's why it's so, so important for you to keep doing what you're doing. Mm. You know, it's, yeah. it's so important. Can you have in any way, though, a sort of normal life, if you like? I mean, is life relatively normal? Have you been able to do that? No, I think we've kind of, you know, we, we've reached that point, certainly for the last few years, yeah. where we, we can do a lot of normal things. Mm. You know, we still obviously have the Madeleine work going on day in, day out. Of course, you know, that's inevitable until we, we find her. Um, but we certainly, you know, as you know, Jerry works, um, Sean and Emily, I mean, you can't not have a normal life. No, of course. You know, we have our yeah. family days yeah. out, they do all the normal things mm. that kids do. It's a new normality, I think, you yeah. know, as opposed to having mm. five in the house, there's four in the house most yeah. of the time. But uh, I keep saying this, but 
to anyone, a casual observer, I think we'd look like an ordinary family. Yeah. Um, and that's how it is most of the time. Sean and Amelie completely understand what we're doing and mm -hmm. uh, occasions like this, why we're away from home and yeah. they, they know, we keep them updated about what's happening and the developments, they know about the Metropolitan Police, they know about the new age progression, all of these mm -hmm. things. And because they've grown up with, with Madeline absolutely. always there, I mean they're always a, so much in need of the big yeah. sister, of, co of course they are. Do you feel very overprotective of them? It must be so difficult not to be. I think I would imagine it would be hard not to sort of just want them in, by your side all the time. I mean, I think that mm. that is true, um, and you have to kind of fight against it a little bit, to be honest, to, to let them develop and enjoy life like other children. Mm. But it's inevitable, I think, that. Um, I think it's a balance. All parents go through every day, isn't it? Mm. And. Uh, I think I'm certainly more protective than what I was and you know, Kate, I, I, before I would have said, was on the overprotective side and that's yeah. one of the, the ironic things about this but um, you can't mollycoddle them at the same time, you know, they've got to develop and uh, become independent and I, I do feel strongly about that and we've got to remember what happened to us is incredibly rare. Mm. And you're, you're right, it would be really sad if your, if your twins mm. had to suffer because of what happened. Yeah. Mm. It'd be really, you know, that, that wouldn't be fair to them. Absolutely. But completely understandable that you just want to, you know, wrap them in cotton wool and not let them out of your sight. You know, it would, nobody would, would ever think that that was anything wrong. The public have been incredibly helpful, I know. Um, when, you, when you're out and about, just normal things like, you know, shopping or whatever, do, do people come up to you? Do they know what to say to you? Both they do. You. I mean, I mean, all the people that come up, up to us, and it, it still happens, you know, regularly. Um, they always come up and they say something nice. It's always really supportive, Good. you know. Um, how are you doing? And you know, we're with mm. you and keep going. You will find you, you know. And mm. um, and, it, and it does give you a lift. Yeah. To mm. help. Yeah. It does. The support we've had, be it by emails or letters, mm. and you know, this last week in particular, I've yeah. had hundreds of letters and cards again, but mm. people are incredibly supportive, although you're absolutely right that there's a large proportion of people who just don't know what to say. I know. And, yeah. and we, un but we understand mm. that, and we know it's difficult, and it's a bit like... If someone who you're working with or someone, if someone in the family dies and there's that awkwardness about just what to say, but it is, yeah. for us it's much better it's out in the open, to be Yeah, honest. of course, and then people, um, yeah, of course, and, and you've gone back to work, you've, you've tried to get some sort of normality because it's important. I had quite a few them. hugs when I went back. I'll bet you did, yeah. I'll bet you did, but and now so. I think what one of the best things would be now actually that it's quite normal. You know, they just treat you as another doctor, if you like, you know, another colleague. Well, I hope so, because you know, ultimately I've got to be professional yeah. about what I do. And um, I think when I did go back, it was almost as important for me as a coping mechanism, yeah. because we were hamstrung in the search at that time, and uh, it really gave me something to focus mm -hmm. on. And, uh, you know, I went back and I was started doing a lot of academic work, which has continued. And... Um, mm -hmm. I'm doing that more and more now, so uh, for me, it, it's definitely been good. And you've both, I know, you work hard to raise money, obviously, for the, the battle to find Madeline and to fund that, but also for, for others as well. You know, I've seen you doing amazing runs and extraordinary things that you do. I think you've just signed up for another one, I believe. Um, but it's not just for Madeline, it's for other missing children too. Yeah, well, I we've always said since the very beginning, you know, something good has to come out of this. Mm. So if we can help in some way, you know, other families that are suffering, other children that are missing, then obviously, you know, we'd like to do that. So we have tried to support other charities um, and I continue to do that, both Missing People and PACT. And, you know, I, I intend to do, to do more of that really to, to help Missing People um, over the next year. Because it helps them, but I would imagine it helps you as well in some way. Well, it does. Um, it does. You know, we've we've had quite an experience, to to put it mildly, over the last five years, and we've learnt a lot from that. So, you know, I do feel that if we can help people, that's a good thing, and it it does make you feel better if you can help someone Absolutely. and give something positive from it all. Do you sometimes? I mean, do you sometimes? Oh, you must think about a reunion in your head, about what that must be like. You must do. Do you know what? I, I don't that often because okay. it's almost like. Um, I mean, it's so good, it's so beautiful, I guess, that I don't want to take myself there and for it not to be real. Mm. Um, you know, obviously, I've ha had a few dreams along the way, not recently, and uh, they've been so tangible that it's incredibly painful, because, you know, that, that's what we want mm. every single day. Yeah. 
Of course, um, of course. You know, it would be amazing. Oh, I, I know everybody it, wants it's hard to go there. It is. I would imagine it's very yeah. difficult for you to go there. But the thing about it is, you're never going to give up on it, are you? Absolutely never. not. There's not going no. to be a time when you say, "We've done all we can." That's it. You know, you don't know you can. It's never going to happen. It You know, and even Sean and Emily, you know, Sean said to me, I mean, this is going back about 18 months now. He said, you know, Mummy, if you haven't found Madeline when we get older, you know, me and Emily will look for Madeline. And I have absolutely no doubt about that at mm. all. But I don't want them to have to be in the position where, where they're carrying around this kind of, you know, sadness and frustration or whatever it is, you know, to find Madeline. Mm. You know, we, we want to find her now. Of course. Mm. And as we said, it's really important to get that photograph out there, you know, for the officers to be doing the work that they're doing. I mean, they seem to be optimistic. And, and hopefully one day that the, the case in Portugal to be reopened as well, you know, all of these things, it's, you know, all of these things happening at the one time. It it's does just such change. a difference for us at the minute to have the Metropolitan Police driving that. Yeah. You know, it does it. Previous years we felt like we've been on our own mm. to a large extent. Uh, and now, you know, we've got tremendous resource, doing a great job. We feel so much better supported and you know that those things that we've been talking about for the last three and a half years about looking at every single piece of information that's going on uh, and we're happy to be led by you know the police and let the Metropolitan Police do the negotiations with the Portuguese authorities uh, but it does feel now finally that it's someone in the authorities and the British authorities are actually trying to find Madeline, yeah. uh, who is completely innocent, of course. We're really, I mean, we're really grateful to the police for what they're doing, and we're also really grateful to the general public because I don't believe we'll have, we'd have got the review without their support. Yeah, that's I mean, true. people petitioned and pet mm -hmm. petitioned, and you know, wrote letters, and, and here we are. And we just, you know, hope obviously that the case mm -hmm. will get reopened in due course because mm -hmm. we certainly believe that's our best chance of finding Madeline. Absolutely, it's the reunion that we all want. We really do wish it all the best. I know you've got a, a tough a tough day today and obviously a, a tough day tomorrow as well as you remember. As you, you remember it every day. Yeah. But obviously tomorrow being five years. Thank you both very much indeed. No, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you.